So I guess King David, King Solomon, <laughs> you know, the, the, the 12 patri patriarchs, men like Samson. All right. I guess none of, none of them were real men, according to IUIC. Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in our truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The house of David, starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. So, yeah, man, I got this from the uh, brothers out in Jersey. Their pages are uh, Saints of Jersey, too. Go subscribe and be edified. All right, this is from um, IUIC, Oklahoma. I guess this is on Instagram or Facebook. I don't know, but like I said, I just saw it on, this on the Brothers page, so I thought I'd go into it. All right, and you see the caption. Real men have one wife, not thoughts or side pieces. So like I said, you know, to open up the video, what about, uh, you know, King David, King Solomon? All right. Jacob, you know. So none of, the, none of them were real men? I-U-I-C? All of them had uh, multiple wives, many wives, more than one wife. Were they not real men? All right. Y'all always talking about the laws, the statutes, the commandments. All right. The law was, uh, the promises was, was given to Abraham. All right. How many women uh, did he go into, man? He had children by more than one woman. All right, so 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 what's up, IUIC? But see, blatant hypocrisy, man. Blatant hypocrisy. Because they quick to hold oh, the laws, the statutes and commandments, the law, the law, the law. They be out preaching and they see a random, a random man walking by. Oh, where's your fringes? You know, a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American man, or woman for that matter. Oh, where's your fringes? You going off. You supposed to have fringes. That's in the law. Hey, hey get that in numbers, brother. That's, 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 they quick to do that, man. All right. But what about this? What about this? Uh, in the, more than one wife being in the law, man. See, these guys are hypocrites, man. All right. Yeah, how wish I warned us about these niggas, man. Matthew 23 is IUIC. To a T. All right. Matthew 23 is I U I C to a T, to a T, man. All right. Matter of fact, let's go there. Let's go there, man. This is what Yahweh Shah was talking about, man. And these guys are and the wicked scribes and Pharisees are back in their lot, man. And the way things looking, we got a good idea of who they are, man. See, subheading Phariseeism exposed. Matthew 23 and 1. Then spake Yahweh shall to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, and that, uh, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Yeah, that's these niggas, man. Oh, they quick, all oh, the law, the law, the law, the laws, the statutes and commandments. When this is clearly going against the law, man, real men have one wife. That's in the law, man. That's what y'all yeah, said. They say and do not, man. You know, and of course, we, we, we're, we're not against the law. We, we push the law to rehearse the righteous acts. We push for our people to re rehearse the righteous acts, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. But at the same time, we know we're not, we know we're not going to be saved by the law. The law can't save us. If it was up to the law, we all done, man. All right. So yeah, these guys are blatant fucking hypocrites, man. They say and do not, man. Like how was y'all said, like we just read, man, because again, multiple wives is in the law, man. Let's go get it. And I'll come back to uh, Matthew 23. See, they so quick to push the law, the law, the law, the laws, the statutes, the commandments. You got to keep the laws. But they don't, man. Uh, let's see. 
We'll go to Deuteronomy first. Deuteronomy 21. So like I put duet. <laughs> I got the E and the U backwards. Here we go. Deuteronomy 21. And you see the subheading, domestic relations. Deuteronomy 21 and 15, straight to the point. If a man have two wives, no, IUIC say real man have one wife. IUIC say real men have one wife, but what it say in the law? What they what they push? If a man have two wives, last time I checked, two is more than one. Two is multiple. Two is many. Two is plural, not singular. Deut Deuteronomy 21 and 15. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, and if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his son to inherit that which he has, that he that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which indeed which is indeed the firstborn. The point being that you know more than one wives, man. You know more than one wife. Many wives, man. You can have more than one wife, man. Real men have one wife. Again, so what so what was uh what was Jacob? What was King David? What was King Solomon? Was they what was they fake? As y'all would say how you all see, were they not real men? You nigga simps over there, man. And we know why you're doing this. You y'all ain't slick. We know y'all y'all getting them, them, you know, them women throwing their purses on the floor down there at, at, at y'all school, man. You know, women giving that money, y'all getting that revenue from these from these simple ass women. All right, so we know what it's about. We know the game, man. That's why y'all catering to the women, cause them women, uh, like I say, them women giving y'all that revenue, man. You, you, the, the, these women that you y'all got Eve lying in y'all pockets, man. And y'all took the bag from, and that's crazy. You know, Esau, Esau and Eve is in lead together. And y'all, you know, y'all, y'all in bed with both of them. You know, cause y'all took the bag, y'all sold out to Esau. Well, exactly which group or denomination, hey, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna even say cause I don't know. But I strongly believe that y'all took the bag. It's, it's evident by y'all's doctrine, man. So that's Esau and y'all, and y'all are uh, catering to Eve, man. Eve and Esau. Eve, Esau, and I, U, I, C. <laughs> yeah, man. So more than one wife is lawful, man. These guys are hypocrites. Let's go get another one in the law. What's that? Exodus? Exodus. Let's go to Exodus, the 21st chapter. These niggas are blatant fucking hypocrites, man. They're leading you to destruction, man. These guys are teaching for filthy lucre, man. Titus, the first chapter. All right, and don't get cute to my. Well, see, you say in Titus that you know you um, a man is to have on, on, a man is to be the husband of one wife. That's for a bishop. What about all the men that are, that aren't bishops, man? And that a, a bishop must have one wife, not because it's not because it's unlawful. All right, not because many wives are lawful, but because, but because a, a bishop is a high ranking position. It's a it, it, it's a position of leadership. And of course, the ministry always comes first. So you got to tend to the church, man. You ain't going to have time to be dealing with multiple women, pleasing multiple women, providing for and taking care of multiple women, man. Multiple wives, man. You're going to have to get most of your time to the, ch to the church, to the ministry, man. And you're going to have to focus on that. All right? So that's why a bishop must be the husband of one wife. But what about all the men that aren't bishops, man? All right? Exodus 21. And I'll start at seven. This is the law, man. And if a man sell his daughter to be a maid servant, she shall not go out as the men servants do. If she please not her master who hath betrothed her to himself, then shall he let her be redeemed. To sell her unto a strange nation, he shall have no power, seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her. 
And if he had betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, her duty of marriage shall not, shall he not diminish. All right. So yeah, if you get another wife after your first wife, you know, you might, you know, you, you might not be so happy with her or whatever. But if you, if you get another wife after her, you still have to take care of, take care of uh, your first wife, man. You know, you got to take care of the same as your other wife, man. She shall not be diminished. All right. So, yeah, Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, meaning more than one, I-U-I-C, real man have one wife. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish. All right. So, yeah, man. These guys are just hypocrites, man. They say and do not, as Jehovah shall say it, man. You know, yeah, all the stuff they tell you is it, 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 rightful. You know, as far as them pushing the law. So like Jehovah shall say it, everything, that, you know, as far as the law, what they tell you to do, do it. But don't be like them. Don't do after their words because they're hypocrites. They say and do not. All right. They teach the law, but they don't keep the law, man. They say having more than one wife, having multiple wives is wicked. And we just read it in the law, man. So how, how the hell are you going to preach the law but condemn the law at the same time, IURC? What the hell is that about? Well, we know what it's about. You sold a lot. You took the bag, man. The leadership of IURC starting with the bishop. All right. Hypocrites, man. And like the apostles always say, watch what the Lord do to that group, man. It's just a matter of time, man. Watch what the Lord do to IUIC, man. Hypocrites, man. Let's go to um What's that? Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11 and 9. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Yeah, man. And they, they got a lot of blood on their hand. Uh, your neighbor is meaning meaning your uh a fellow Israelite. All right. So they're destroying a lot of Israelites. They got a lot of blood on their hands, man. See, they so quick all this one wife, one wife, one wife bullshit. But that's why adultery is running rampant in their school, man. That's why they got men in their congregation sending D pics, all right, to other to other men's wives, man. This is why. Leading women to commit adultery. Talking about your wife gotta be a believer. If she ain't no believer, you know, uh, leave her. All right. So there it is, because your woman don't believe. All right, you leave her, you put her away, and then she go with another man. She she done committed adultery because of your wicked ass, man. These guys are wicked as hell, man. For they say and do not. Yahweh Shah warned us about these wicked ass niggas, man. Proverbs 11 and 9. And hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall it just be delivered. Yeah, it's no way, is it in no way, shape, fashion, or form that you can read the scriptures with any kind of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and think these these guys, I U I C are, are men of the Lord, man. With their hypocrisy on display the way it is, man. Blatantly, man. Blatant hypocrisy. It's no way that you would say that these are men of the Lord. Real man have one wife, not thoughts or side pieces. Yeah, fucking right, man. Wicked as hell, man. Let's go to uh, Sirach, the first chapter. Hypocrites, man. But hey, they, that's why that judgment coming. That's why that judgment is coming. Ecclesiastes or Sirach. Chapter uh, 1, verse 29. Be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, and take good heed what thou speakest, 
Yeah, don't be no hypocrite, man. Here it is. You preaching the laws, the statutes, the commandments. Fringes, fringes, fringes. But you say the law of having more than one wife is wicked. You say a man is only supposed to have one wife. Come on, man. That's being a hypocrite, IUIC. And this guy in the picture, I don't know his name. You know, I don't know if he's one of the head guys at IUIC or what, but, you know, the leadership of IUIC, them niggas wicked as hell, man. And like the apostles always say, if it's in their lake among them, the Lord going to get them out of there, man. Because the Lord going to do a number on that group, man. Mainly for, 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 for not calling on the true name of the Heavenly Father and Son, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Not God and what they say, God in Christ blessed, most high in Christ blessed, or whatever the hell they say. They ain't calling on the true names, man. Being hypocrites, man. Let's go to, uh, let's stay in Syrac. Let's go to the 32nd chapter. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, so Syrac chapter 32. Where is it? Let me see. Yep, Ecclesiastes chapter 32, verse 15. He that seeketh the law shall be filled therewith, but the hypocrite will be offended thereat. Yeah, we, yeah, we say you can have more than one wife. Oh, that's wicked. You, you're, a man is only supposed to have one wife. They're really offended at the law, man. But they want to they wanna push the law at the same time. Hypocrites, man. If you really was all about the laws and statutes and commandments, if you really was pro-law, you wouldn't say that having many wives is wicked, man, because it's in the law. I read it in Exodus and Deuteronomy, man. Hypocrites, man, that's they, why they're offended, all right? And really, we know that they know that it's lawful to have more than one wife. But see, when you done took the bag, you got to push Esau's agenda. You got to push... Uh, basically Christianity, man. These niggas ain't nothing but Christians with fringes, man. French-wearing Christians, man. That's all these niggas are. French-wearing Christians. Christians with an Israelite twist, man. Wicked-ass niggas. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to go into that, man. A real man that only has one wife. Hey, that's why judgment got to start with Israel, man. 1 Peter 4 and 17, Ezekiel 9, Ezekiel the 9th chapter, man. The Lord said, start at my house, man, with the ancient men. This is why, man. Hypocrites, man. Hypocritical as hell, man. So I just wanted to go into that briefly, man, you know. There's more, more hypocrisy on display from IUIC, man. Blatant uh, hypocrisy, man. These niggas are hypocrites, man. And they're going to pay for it, man. Lord going to break that shit up over there at the IUIC up, man. It's, it, hey, it's just a matter of time, man. Wicked. Hypocrites, man. I pray that this has been edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, one peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Obaba Baal, Shalom.